Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiffing Brit, and today we're playing Spore. That's right, we're back playing Spore, but this time we're on the Origin servers, meaning we're logged in as the legendary Barry Trotter 69, a fantastic hero who's going to be joining us on our adventure today, where we create brand new species and breathe life into nightmare-fueled monsters which quite simply shouldn't biologically exist, yet somehow they do. So make sure you're sat back, you're relaxed, and you're ready for a good bit of Spore, as we're going to be diving into the strangest Spore video the world has ever seen. We're going to be having appearances from all of your favorite characters. I know, it's terrifying, it's weird. And who knows what you're going to see on today's video. So make sure you're sat back, you're relaxed, you have a nice warm cup of tea beside you. And hey, if you're especially fantastic, you might have even given this video a like already. Oh, my goodness, you lovely person. Anyway, just before we get started, let us quickly um, go into the option settings. Uh, and oh, yes, I'm not really a big fan of the way this game looks. It's all on medium at the moment let's uh let's just quickly drop it all down to low there we go fantastic yes now the game looks oh it's like beautiful play-doh mmm oh goodness <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So now that we've got the game down to beautiful graphics mode, it's time we jump into a brand new world. And I love the look of this planet here. And of course, we're going to be starting off in the classic way, in the cell stage. And I'm going to be showing off to you today, ladies and gentlemen, a cheeky cell stage exploit, which is going to give you a slight advantage in this fantastic stage, which everyone loves. And of course, when it comes to designing our creature, we have to pick their diet for them. Well, we're going to go for a carnivore and difficulty. Well, I'm somewhat of a power gamer, so we're going for for hard mode. Yes. Oh, and we need a name. <gasps> Fantastic, let's come up with a name. Honestly, the green of this creature kind of makes me think of Shrek, so we can't call it Shrek because, of course, that is copyrighted by DreamWorks, so we're going to have to go for instead Shrok, kind of like a long-distant cousin of Shrek. And also, the IP for Shrok is much more affordable. Ah, oh, beautiful. The Shrok arrives on a planet being carried by a massive meteorite. This is actually Shrok cannon, by the way. Here comes the Shrok, come on. Smash into the planet Shrok. Oh, now these are some good graphics, by the way. You're gonna need at least an Intel Pentium with two cores to run this bad boy. Oh, and here we are, the creation of our first little species. It's Shrock. Look at him, guys. Get out of me, swamp pool. Yes, Shrock, yes, welcome. Now, of course, we are in a bit of a precarious situation where everything around us wants to eat us, so naturally we have to run away from them and do so quite quickly because they're very scary. Oh, no. Oh, we could be dead. Yep, and of course we're dead. Well, that's hard mode for you. Don't worry, we can spawn immediately back in. And all we have to do is get just enough food so that we can level up. There we go. We've got a little bit bigger. Oh, no, that's a big boy. Right, can we fit inside his mouth? No, we can't. Okay, run, run, Shrok, run. Now, you might be wondering why I ask if I can fit inside his mouth. Well, that's because there's a very strange little exploit where you can actually get inside of the mouths of some creatures and consequently, you actually steal the creature. It's a very strange feature which not many people know about in this game. <gasps> oh, it's herbivores. Fantastic. Come here, little herbivore. You have no defenses. Thank you. Ah, as easy as conquering France. Right, now we need to fight this herbivore here. There we go. Oh no, there's a big one. Get away from the big one there. Okay, run fast. There we go. So we've managed to unlock a spike. That gives us a bit of a offensive capability, which is good. That's a good feature to have. Gives us a bit more attack power. Hello there, tiny creature. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Now that is the epic creature that we need. So basically, now that we've discovered this huge epic creature, this is where fantastic things can occur. Because this massive creature is going to be able to give us something good. Oh, actually we're getting spiked. Okay, come here, epic creature fight me yes eat me eat me i just need to go inside of your mouth please please let me in please just inside oh bugger, we got killed all right we need to get ourselves a booster jet so that we can get in there a little more easily where can i locate myself good little booster jet oh my goodness they are very big creatures you can see them in the background of this screen they're huge you see spore out of context i imagine it must sound quite strange the fact that we're trying to fit a tiny little cell into the mouth of an absolutely massive monster creature oh my goodness that's another huge monster creature creature. All right, well, luckily the booster monster which we were trying to fit inside of last time is much, much smaller now. So that should give us an advantage when it comes to getting that booster jet off of them. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me, my friend. Give it to- Oh, run, 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 run. There we go. Yes, I managed to get the booster jet. That was exactly what I needed. Let me just grab some spare DNA and find someone to create the next evolutionary stage of Shrock with. Lovely. So yes, this was the first iteration of Shrock. The uh, CGI budget wasn't too high, so now we're on Shrock 2. 
Now when it comes to the next version of Shrock, we don't want these little spindly wiggly things. They're not very fast. We want jets. Jets are so much faster. So we're going to have two dual jets in the back there. We're going to switch from having two eyes to just having one. So we're going to be calling this creature Shrock 2. Fantastic. Shrock 2, welcome to the world. Now Shrock 2's job is not to actually eat food because Shrock 2, it's just a little noodle really. It's got nothing to it. As you can see, it can move pretty quickly though, but it can move even faster if you couple it with an extra feature. And that is that for some reason, you can move extra fast with the jets if you manage to smash backspace at the same time. Because for some reason, backspace resets the jet boost, so you can just spam the jet boost and backspace and you'll start moving in no time. So there you go, that's how to go at like 900 miles an hour in the cell stage. All you need to do, grab yourself a jet booster and then click in one direction and then spam the backspace. There we go, look at how fast we can go! Goodness, we just embedded ourselves in that creature. Go, 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 go! Oh, we're dead. Ooh. Oh, that is a bit of an issue. Yes, welcome to Spore Speedrunning Tactics 101. You just want to spam yourself the W key. Speed and power, little Shrock. Speed and power. Oh, there we go. Now that, that is a big boy who I think I can get inside the mouth of. There's a lot of death happening around here. My goodness. Okay, right. So what we want to do is point ourselves. Oh, there we go. There's the big one. That is the big one. Oh, goodness. Okay, we need to get inside the mouth of that monster. That's all we have to do, and then we can take control of it. That's how science works. That's exactly what Darwin said would happen. Also going to give us the ability to have fast turns. Yes, I do believe that should give us a slight advantage. So we're on Shrock 2, but this is kind of like the Christmas special version with added speed buffs. 2,000 years later. Sadly, I can't get this to work. What a shame. So basically, there is an exploit which you can sometimes pull off, which is that if you ram your creature fast enough into the mouth of a large creature, you can actually end up stealing it. So if it's especially like some kind of massive, super mega large, scary creature, guess what? You can become an epic creature. It's very powerful. Oh my goodness. Now that's a very, very big one. Goodness me. Oh my goodness, the speed. It's 700 miles an hour spore, ladies and gentlemen. No, that was fast. That was very fast. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Maximum terminal velocity. Yes. More speed. <laughs> Also, let's create the next iteration of Shrek because I have some design changes I'd like to make. Okay, so I'm going to make this the Shrek Free Return of the Shrek. I'm pretty sure that was the name of the third film. There we go. We've kind of like upgraded the chunk on the back, uh, added a couple of extra boosters. Hopefully, I'm guessing we can now go 17 million miles an hour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a little bit faster. This has got a bit more speed to it. A little bit more speed to it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Speed. More speed. <laughs> More speed! <laughs> right, time to finish the cell stage. We actually have places to be and things to do. Oh my goodness, we're doing it. Yes, Shrock has developed a brain. Success. Now, just before we go to land, I have an idea. Yes, we've discovered sentience. Now I want to see just how fast we can actually go. We've really put our mind to it. So I'm not going to apply any legs. We're not going to land. No, no, no. We have other ideas. Yes, the Shrock, the legendary Shrock. This is probably the fastest creature in the entire known universe. Oh, it needs a mouth, apparently. There we go. Let's do this. More speed, more power, more success. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It's a go. Yes, there we go. There we go. That's a a good bit of speed it's at least 700 miles an hour come on Shrock, I know you've got it in you to be the fastest, fastest tadpole in the pond. You are the sharpest tool in the shed. Come on, I know. Oh, well, that's enough trying to get Shrock to go faster because, my goodness, it is actually quite a difficult challenge. The guy's not exactly built for speed. Yeah, we've had a lot of deaths along the way. I can certainly say that much. Oh, goodness. Anyway, it's time for us to move up into our next world and time to grow some legs. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, completed cell stage on hard setting because we're pure pros, ladies and gentlemen. Pure pros. Now, I have some great design ideas. Is, but sadly, before I can do any of them, I need to create a Shrock of my own. Oh, now this is a powerful being. Oh, this is very powerful. I like this. Let's stick the knees out to the sides. Okay, so they're out of the way of the noodle neck. And fantastic. I'm really in on this. This is like daddy long legs, but if he only had one leg. Powerful. Let's just give him also one big spike in the middle of the eye. Okay, yep, sure, his eye is a spike. That's very powerful. Very, very powerful. 
and he needs something to eat with so we'll just apply the eating tube down here and you know what I think we've done it correctly yeah I don't really think this can be called Shrock anymore this is more of a daddy long leg because I mean really he doesn't have many legs that's why you call it a daddy long legs the big spiders so this is just a daddy long leg because he only has one leg it's all he needs this is actually just one big leg you see it loops kind of around there goes through there so it's actually just kind of like one leg just in a U shape anyway right let's save and exit this is a great creature let's see how he does in the real world come on my monstrosities make it to land show me something beautiful oh yes oh these beautiful water graphics look at those oh the reflections they're so good they look like the shower scenes out of the sims games if i'm honest <laughs> it's about that level of pixelation oh but there they go wow look at them bound and run i'm pretty sure there are segments when they move where their feet aren't touching the ground so maybe they can fly anyway it's the beginning of a new day and for you a whole new strange wondrous world air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs in your new home dry land the race to evolve has begun let us go look at how fast we can run look at how the eye just wiggles around it's just flopping around it's like a mace <gasps> our eye is a mace we've strapped a spike to the end of it and made a mace <laughs> that's fantastic of course it makes so much sense oh brilliant day two uh we're back ladies and gentlemen uh the creature has kind of developed a little bit i'm not sure in what way i can possibly describe it it's effectively become one of those wiggly wavy men that you see at all the car places in america you know the super inflated wiggly boys and that's exactly what we've created here today he's beautiful he's weird and um he's honestly an abomination of evolution but he's called mr wiggles so that makes him cute and fun and family friendly although honestly i don't think anything about this man is nice and enjoyable for children i'm just look at how he walks he's an absolute monster what on earth is going on over there why are there just things floating around okay i'll never quite understand this game oh and who are these oh it's sticko oh what a beautiful creature sticko is it's just a a stick with a foot okay hello sticko now what we're going to be able to do is to talk to these stickos and become friends with them there we go we've made a friend oh fantastic and i think because of that my brain is growing yes that's right this is how evolution works you make friend and then oh you suddenly have a brain the size of a small rich tea biscuit fantastic what on earth is this what is this creature okay i'm not going to ask any questions about this strange looking frog boy i see on the floor fantastic now there is technically a little cheeky exploit you can do in the creature stage which i'll show off to you guys basically it's just the fastest way to get through the creature stage without actually having to collect all of these parts basically you need to get these bones to get various parts which you can then attach to your creature to make it more powerful make it faster maybe help it fly all of those good things of course um we've hit peak evolution anyway but uh if you wanted to say evolve even more then this is how so quite simply all you have to do is click on this item here so that your being picks it up and then as soon as that item appears what you want to do is pause the game and just simply scroll out and you want to scroll out to the point where the bones disappear from existence so normally about this far out does it and then what you want to do is then just unpause zoom back in and the bones have respawned and then what you do is simply go on it again pause the game zoom out and repeat and the bones will keep respawning over and over again so just rinse and repeat until you have all of the items that you're looking for anyway now that we've collected some bonus parts we're going to transform ourselves into a brand new superior creature that's right the mr wiggles needs to evolve once again so mr wiggles what are we going to become today ah yes this is my um next race an evolved species of hedgehog called the sanic as you can see they've managed to discover fire and houses very very good not particularly too certain what to do with my sanics but um they're quite powerful there we go we're managing to defeat the locals and we should be able to get some nice food from this oh no what's this another species has arrived <laughs> what is this it's like some kind of strange barney the dinosaur thing this isn't sanic at all oh no a rival colony has arrived well we the british are actually quite used to rival colonies we know exactly what to do to them right i'm now equipping all of the sanics with uh throwing spears so they should become all the more powerful very good right now that i also have all of my spears we're going to take our lovely men and we're going to attack the local chompies as uh they they are also carnivores they appear to be stealing some meat so yes naturally it's time to fight come on sanix go 
How are they outrunning you? You guys are meant to be the fastest land hedgehog alive. Go for the fisherman. Fro! Why are some of you missing? What's wrong with you? Alright, come on, out DPS the enemy. I believe in you. I know they appear to be running away from extinction, but no, there is no escape from extinction, my friend. There we go. That's a tribe colonized. There is something quite appealing about watching a large quantity of hedgehogs with spears poke a tiny hut, but you know, it's a, it's quite a unique sight to behold. Well done, Sanic the Hedgehog. It would appear we've unlocked some new weaponry. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Oh my goodness, what on earth is happening here? The epic smash burger is destroying the tiny little pink tribe. Oh, rest in peace, pink tribe. But yes, there's no way you're going to be able to do that. Oh yes, we've got it. The pink enemy was trying to convert to using didgeridoos, but we've managed to jump the gun and get the early attack on them. Sadly, we have lost one of our tribe's people during the fight, but it's okay. It's looking like a good success for us. The ranged weapons are definitely vastly superior. All right, now we must kill the tiny children too. Ah, there we go. The pink tribe has been destroyed by Sonic the Hedgehog. Fantastic. What is up with all those creatures there? <laughs> Sorry, game. Is this because I only allocated you one megabyte of graphical memory? I think that could be the issue there. Anyway, the pink tribe has now been defeated. That's fantastic news for us all. Oh, and now we're somehow managing to heal the Sonics in one of the strangest animations I've ever seen. It's quite terrifying. Um, why did the developers decide that this was okay? I have no idea. Uh, here's a pet favorite of mine. It's called the Longest Boy, the um, strangest creature which I've ever run into in Spore. It's um, it's really long, and um, that's its main feature, really. There's there's not much more that can be said other than it's long and its tail is relatively broken. <laughs> but he's a very long and cute boy. I mean, just look at that adorable little face. Then, of course, here he is. It's that boy. He's got his own little unicycle, and he's able to cycle around with fantastic speed, being that boy. Look at that fantastic hop he can do. He's so happy. I mean, look at this powerful spin he can do. It's very impressive. And this is what he looks like when he's running. Yeah, don't, don't question it. That is how a unicycle works, okay? Now we're starting to go into more of the dystopian section with this next creation called the human bean. This, um, is terrifying. If this were to ever run up to you, and apparently this is a thing that could evolve, theoretically, if this was ever to run at you, yes, do run. Oh, please run. Some say you can't even run fast enough. Some say there's no outrunning. The human bean. This one I'm sure is going to be a fan favorite. It's naturally Big Chungus himself. That's right, he made it into Spore. He's very big and he's very Chungusy. Alternatively, if you're a big fan of, uh, you know, SpongeBob SquarePants, then uh, you recognize Gary the Snail. Um, trust me, this is what he looks like. Yes, I listened to the radio series of SpongeBob. I know what Gary the Snail looks like. So before you come here asking questions about how this one is anatomically incorrect, you're wrong. And yes, of course, snails can jump. Why couldn't they? They have leg things, maybe? I don't know. I mean, when was the last time you saw a snail? Don't judge me. Oh, and this time, we actually found him, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, it's THE Shrek, ladies and gentlemen. Shrek himself, he's come all the way out of his swamp to join us today, ladies and gentlemen. Is he not majestic? Is he not fantastic? Is he not also simultaneously terrifying? Oh, goodness. It's Shrek. Look at this, this is my favorite move. Shrek, punch! Powerful. <laughs> Wait, hang a second, what is this? <laughs> Oh no, oh no, the animation is only just now getting tested. Oh. <laughs> I call this one the cha cha slide. <laughs> Look at him dancing, he's so happy. He's so happy to be dancing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this one's slightly lesser. This one does look like pain. Oh yeah, this is this is how you T-pose on someone, how to assert dominance. And then this is Shrek's special move. This is his psionic brain melting ability, where if he channels this for 10 straight minutes, he will physically be able to melt any object in existence. Apparently we can train others to do the exact same as us. So um, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Okay, yep, yeah, this is a gameplay feature. Thank you, developers of Spore, for making this an actual playable experience. We also have Untitled Goose from, you know, the Untitled Goose game that just runs around stealing stuff. I mean, it's very similar. Look at him. He's, he's got a little he's got a little hop to him. He's very cute. He also has this special move where, for some reason, he pivots on a 360-degree axis. Oh, goodness. He also has a special attack move, which is just shatter eardrums. Go! It's so powerful. So powerful, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what do we have here? Oh, right, that's right. It's Crob, ladies and gentlemen. It's a crab. He's able to dance for you. Look at him go. It's... <laughs> this is actually Crab Rave. <laughs> Hang on a second. We made Crab Rave. Oh, my goodness, it's Crab Rave. <laughs> oh, Spore's back. Crab Rave time. What a fantastic little game. Oh, 
I give this one 11 out of 10. Well done. Uh, next, we just have this classic meme. That's right, it's E, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not really too sure what E's special attack move is, but it seems to be some kind of whatever this is. Uh, it turns the E into a... I don't even think that's a letter. Yeah, this one I call the confused letter B. It's quite good, if I'm honest. Uh, overall, I'll give the E a... Uh, 4 out of 10. Nice try. Next we have a banana. Um, it moves around like all bananas do. If you didn't know bananas could move, you're wrong. They're also sentient beings. And yeah, this is a banana's attack pose. Banana, can you punch? Yep, the banana can, I guess, punch. And this is the banana channeling its inner brain to hover and do a 360 rotation spin. Very good. Good powers, banana. <laughs> Fun fact, if you eat 12 of these bad boys, the potassium will overload your system, forcing you to probably go into hospital immediately. That's a fun banana fact. Overall, banana, I'll give you 7 potassiums out of 12. Uh, next up, we have Orange Boy, the only logical progression on from Banana Man. Um, he's quite honestly terrifying. He packs a fair bit of a punch as well. Look at his swing. That's really powerful. But it's mostly just his ability to stare into your soul like so and slowly devour your inner mind. Oh no, that's that's the worst part. There's no escape from Orange Boy. <laughs> it's terrifying. It truly is. My goodness. Goodbye, Orange Boy. And now we have Woe from Crash Bandicoot. That's right. Uh, it's quite good. Quite terrifying, if I'm honest, but good at the same time. I hear the kind of like the mouth of Crash Bandicoot. It's large enough to swallow a black hole. Quite good in times where you find yourself in space surrounded by black holes, but otherwise utterly terrifying. I mean, just look at that. That's enough to make you forget you're playing Spore and take you straight back into the scariest game in existence. Spore creatures on the Nintendo DS Lite. What a game. I sometimes wonder who's actually interested in me playing Spore in 2019. So uh, if you are, feel free to give me a shout. I'd love to do more Spore. In fact, you know, what? if you're out there making Spore creatures in 2019, make them. Throw them down in the comment section. Link them to me. I'll play all of them. There's not enough people uploading spore creatures in 2019 anymore. So yes, if you have any creations of your own which you'd like to send in, then feel free to do that. Drop either the link or the name of it so that I can search for it in the comment section. I'll be sure to add in whatever strange abomination to the entire foundation of evolution you've created. That would be fantastic. Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit. I've been playing Spore today. It's a very strange game. And hey, if you're interested in another video, please do give this one a like. It absolutely makes my day 10,000 times better. Thank you very much in advance, you lovely person. As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of my splendid patrons to make it possible for me to play Spore, a very, very old game, in 2019. Yeah, each and every one of you are fantastic. You're very strange individual for bankrolling this, but hey, you're fantastic nonetheless. And if you're wondering what video to watch next, then look no further than this one on screen now. It has been hand-chosen by myself to be just perfect for you if you've enjoyed this video. Anyway, I've been the Smithing Brit, and I'll see each and every one of you in the next time. Goodbye for now, and have an absolutely lovely day. Day.